Hey, thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to work with contacts in Hilo. First, we're going to add a contact. You can do that two ways. You can either click this green button up here in the header bar, or you can click the add contact link under contact management up here. Once you've clicked either button, a modal window will appear giving you lots of options for fields to enter data for. I'm going to cover the fields I think are most important to getting started and getting the most out of our filtering features. So when you add a contact, this is what I would focus on. Any contact info that you have for the person. Name, obviously, email address, phone number, etc. We have contact type. This is somewhat optional, but it can be a good way to filter names later on. So if you'd like to differentiate between your team members, cross team, downline, customers, etc., you might want to enter information in this field. Pipeline position is the next one. This field is important because pipeline position decides which queues contacts will go into on the goal tracker page. Have you ever talked to this person about your business? If so, you'd want to put them in the contacted pipeline position. If you've never talked to them about your business, you can leave this blank because contact default to a not contacted pipeline position if nothing else is entered. If they're a customer or downline member, put them in closed signed. And if they've told you no, or you don't intend to reach out to them about your business, like a consultant for another team or something like that, put them in not right now. Next, we have lead temperature. This can be useful to easily see how interested your prospects are. This field also feeds our automated follow-ups feature on the goal tracker page. So if you intend to use that feature to have Hilo add follow-ups automatically to your follow-up queue, you should enter a lead temp for your contacts. And the way I look at this is cold signifies that someone either has no interest in your company or hasn't shown any, or you've never spoken to them. Warm would be that they've shown some interest, but they're not beating down your door. And hot says that they have they are totally interested in your products. They definitely want more information and you want to keep that, you know, front of mind. Now, lastly, down here, if we click this gray bar, we open up the tag section. Tags are custom labels that you create based on how you'd like to group your contacts. Common ways of creating tags are how you met a prospect, what they do for a living, and other defining characteristics about their personality or their life. Contacts can have more than one tag too, so don't feel too confined by this. The idea would be to have groupings that several contacts would fall into, and good examples for, for tags would be yoga class, mommy and me, teachers, or life coach. All of these categories could apply to multiple contacts and they give you some insight into possible ways to reach out to these groups. Now, to create a new tag type, uh, type the name in this field and click Add Tag. That'll add the tag to the prospect's contact details. And you'll know that it worked when it's added and pops up in this box over here. If you've already created the tag, you can click in that box and choose from the drop down list of tags you've already used. Lastly, you'll click the add contact button down here when you're done. Now that's it. That's all I'd focus on. Quick and simple. Don't get overwhelmed in the beginning trying to fill out every single field. So now that we're done adding a contact, I'll show you how the, uh, show you the different ways you can play around with the contact data you have in Hilo. So this is our contact list page. From here, you can click on any of these header rows to sort your list. Uh, last reach out date is a fun one to sort by so you can see the people you've reached out to most recently or the contacts that you've never reached out to. Um, you can sort by each of these fields. They are all sortable. Now you can also search for individuals by typing their name in the search box up here. And then you can filter your list to see only contacts that have certain attributes that you're looking for by using the filter menu over here on the left. Click on any of the gray bars to expand that particular filter section and check off the attribute you want to see contacts for. Once that's done, only those contacts will appear in the list over here on the right. So we just filtered this list by teachers. So now I'll show you something else you can do from here. 
Since my list is only showing teachers now, I can reach out to this list in bulk using our bulk email feature. This can save you tons of time and it can be a really effective way to reach out. You can personalize the message enough for the group without having to take the time to write each person individually. To do that, I'll click this checkbox up here at the top of the column to select all, since I know these are all teachers. I could also be more selective and only check the boxes of the contacts I want to reach out to, but I'll reach out to them all here in this example. So I've selected all, and now I can click the bulk email button up here. Now once I click that, that'll bring up a modal with the email address of all the contacts selected in the list. They will not be able to see each other's name, email addresses though when they receive this. They will each get an individual email from me and have no idea I sent this out to a group. So now that the modal's up, I'm free to fill in my subject, type out the message I want to send, so maybe this is a back to school sale or promotion I want to send out to all the teachers on my list, and then I just click the send button. So this function also comes in really handy if you do monthly auto ship reminders for your customers. This will save you tons of time. <laughs> you can use the other function buttons up here the same way we just handled this one. Select the contacts you want by clicking the box next to their names and then click the appropriate button up here. We have bulk update where you can change multiple contact info in one action, like if you wanted to change the pipeline position for several people. Uh, we also allow you to assign email campaigns to multiple people at once, add contacts to your new reach out and follow up cues on the goal tracker, and delete contacts in bulk. To see the information that's been entered for a particular contact, all you have to do is click that contact's name. That will bring you to the contact's detail page. This is where all of the tracking info for a contact gets stored, and you can view it or enter new information using these tabs running along the top here. So let's go through some of those tabs. Personal is the basic contact info you entered for the contact. Now the reach out log is where you can see the entire reach out history that you've logged with that contact. The actions tab will show you tasks and calendar events. Emails will show you a record of all emails that you've sent this contact from the system. And now products allows you to store information on which products the contact has bought or shown interest in. To add a product to the contact's information, search for the product by keyword in this menu on the right, and then choose the action they took on that product. You know, did they buy it? Did you recommend it? Etc. Now, once you click the link, the information gets stored in their file under the products tab. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you were these buttons up here. Now, we all know fortune is in the follow-up, but we so often forget to do it and people fall through the cracks. Well, with this feature, those days are over. So click any of these buttons and Hilo will remind you to follow up with that contact in the specified period of time. For example, if I just got off the phone with Alicia and emailed her some information on my business, I'd want to remind myself to reach out to her again in, say, three days. So I'd choose this three-day option up here. In three days, Alicia Vikander will show up in the follow-ups queue on my goal tracker page with a little icon next to her name that says scheduled because I scheduled this follow-up for a reason. I didn't just add her to my list. And that's it. Those are the basics of working with contacts in Hilo. I really hope that you found this video useful and I thank you so much for taking the time to work in Hilo. Thanks.